We'll begin this Friday night with that case against a Detroit police officer ending with a deadlocked jury and a second mistrial. Yeah, clearly it was a tough decision. The jury taking four days and couldn't come to a mutual agreement on if Officer Joseph Weekly was guilty of mishandling his gun during a police road. Now, Ayanna Jones was killed when officers stormed her home. She was just seven years of age. Only on 7 tonight, Ayanna's mother is talking about the jury's indecision. Let's go live to 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig live downtown with the latest. Well, Jeff, the jury says they wrestled over legal terms and definitions like slight negligence versus ordinary negligence. And despite Ayanna's grandmother saying she never touched Officer Weekly or his gun, some say there was just reasonable doubt. I don't understand how they just couldn't find him guilty when he know that he did it. That he lying and lying and lying and making my life even harder because he's lying. So he did it. He know he did it. But the jury deciding whether Detroit police officer Joseph Weekly was careless or negligent in the shooting death of seven-year-old Ayanna could not unanimously agree on a verdict. One vote was nine to three in favor of finding him not guilty. Another vote was five guilty, seven not guilty. And so late today, the jury came out and told the judge there was just no getting around the roadblock. Members of the jury have received a note from you indicating that you are hopelessly deadlocked. Uh, is that the case? Okay. I don't understand how we could go through this again and have all this evidence brought forth and there not be a verdict either way. We know that night that people were doing that for television. They don't do raids normally at midnight. They did it for the purpose of setting the drama. And I think the drama added to the process that ultimately led to Ayanna Jones's death. Jurors talked to reporters after the judge declared a mistrial, with some saying there's just no way for them to firmly conclude that Ayanna's grandmother did not interfere with Weekly's gun, causing him to accidentally pull the trigger. I can't believe it because I can't go through this a third time. A third time, do you know what's going to put me? And then he said, I ruined his life. I mean, when his life is ruined, his life is not ruined. My life is really ruined. And prosecutors have not said if they will try this case a third time. They say they will put their decision on the record on November 21st. That's when both sides are due in court for a pretrial hearing. Back to you. Kim, I wonder, you've covered this case a lot. Do you have a gut feeling on this as to whether you think prosecutors will put him on trial for a third time? You know what? We're, of course, we have to wait to see what Kim Worthy has to say. But, Joanne, I'm telling you, I honestly don't think that they're going to try this a third time. I think the jury has heard a lot of evidence twice now in this case. They've still been deadlocked now a second, a, for a second time. And I think this time they'll just call it. At the end. But, again, we'll have to wait to see what uh, Worthy decides and what they announce on November 21st. Yeah, Back of to course, you. we'll be waiting for that decision. Kimberly Craig, thank yeah. you. Jeff. Well, now to a closer look at the big 